a sort of pretty overpowering thing, isn't it? I do, uh, I sort of, you know, one of the things I try to do in the book is to tell the story very personally so that, and, and I, I was very, I think you can get into trying to, uh, trying to give the story extra power when quite honestly, if you just show people this or explain how it happened, it has a power of its own really. So you don't sort of almost need to say, uh, I think it's, it's really extraordinary. My mum and my dad were really happy people who lived long and good lives with each other, loved each other very much, always blessed their good fortune that they met each other. And so this story is of how that life almost came to be destroyed, of how they managed to live through what Hitler and Stalin could do to them and managed then to be the beneficiaries of the rule of law, of the tranquility of the British suburbs, of, the, of all the things that peace and liberty uh, can bring to a family. And I wanted to deliver that message, not through preaching to people, but just through simply telling their story. It is an incredible story from my grandfather who was one of the leaders of German Jews in the 1920s, to my other grandfather and his business acumen and the business that he built and his civic leadership, and what Stalin and Hitler tried to do to those people. These pictures were taken in Westerbork concentration camp. They were created at the last minute before the Swiss closed down this operation. So when I talk about the miraculous survival of my family, I think this document is very much what I had in mind. Ever since I was very young, I knew that I'd have to tell the story of my family, that it was a story that needed to be read and needed to be told. And my parents were very open with me. I was very lucky. They left me testimony, which I was able to use. They left me many documents, letters that were written to my grandmother in Siberia. My aunt had a diary. She records the moment when she and my mother saw Anne Frank from one part of Bergen-Belsen to another. My task was to try to tell that story and also to understand it as an adult. What was Belsen? Why were people sent to the Gulag? And also to understand why my parents were able to go beyond that, why they were able to bring us up uh, in peace, in tranquility, in a completely different part of the world, uh, to the world where they'd uh, grown up. To be able to tell that story was a privilege. I just hope that it's one that no other member of my family ever has cause to have again. <laughs>